guys, so it is, um, I don't know, not even 5 a.m. And we are up, we are ready, we are on the move. I'm up here grabbing my Kong that I mentioned and her leash. And we are headed to the airport to pick up this little girl. We are super, super excited. Riot, no, no, come on. Hey, no, come on. And, um, all right, I'll see you guys on the plane. Here she is. This is Storm. Say hi. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Was the ant bite it worse? Was the teeny tiniest. Worse, yeah. worse than a melon wall bite? Yeah. It hurt. It's still hurting. Go bite her. No, she won't keep it. You're making bad. with your seat belts fastened, seat backs and tray tables in their full upright and lap position. Hand your carry-on items sewn completely under the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin. Leaving the floor area clear around your feet. Alright, okay, you little terror. Storm. So it is 6.30 in the morning after our first night. She's wide awake and ready to go. She's found a seat here to chew on, which is not something I'm going to allow, obviously, but I'm not worried about it at this moment. I'm trying to get her to eat. I'd like her to eat from my hand. No, ma'am. The unfiltered look into what it's like to have a melon while puppy. I'm trying to do this one handed here. No. 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 No, I'm not hurting her. I slipped my finger in between her teeth and uh, my shirt to get her to release. 
So I'm just slipping my finger in between her jaw, just like this, right, to pull her off of what she's chewing on. She's got me again. So as you can see here, what I did to get her to stop and this is going to be her having to release on her own is i'm just going to wait her out i'm going to stop moving my hand stop activating my movement and basically the reward dies see she's already let go good good girl and then she lets go and i'll praise because while i do want her to bite and be drivey i do not want her to bite and be drivey towards me i don't have a toy right at the moment to activate which is my bad Ouch, you little fucker. Hey. Hey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out and I'm going to get a toy so that I can um, redirect her wanting to bite right now. Because I sat down on the floor with her to feed. And I don't have a toy with me, so I'm going to stop and go grab a toy so I can redirect, and then we'll be fine. So before I was able to get up off the floor, she grabbed my shirt again. So again, I'm just going to wait her out. Good. Good. Once she releases, then I'm going to get up. You got to be quick. Hey. Nope. 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 I'm gonna pick her up, actually. If I pick her up, she'll stop. But what you saw that I did there was I just made my hand perfectly still so that there was no reward, there was no activation on my part, so she got bored of it and let go. All right, I just sat back down, I went and grabbed a rag so that she can, so that I can have something to redirect, hey, redirect her, uh, her desire to bite and play here this morning onto something appropriate, not my clothing. There we go, good girl. So this morning is our first morning together. I came down to sit on the floor with her to give her to get her to eat out of my hand because one of the things that I do with my Malinois puppies is uh, teach them to eat from my hands only. I never feed them in a bowl um, so that I can use those opportunities for training and bonding and establishing a hierarchy between me and my dog. I want her to see me as her source of food. Um, so that's why I do that. When I sat down with her, she was not interested at all in eating from my hand, even though I could tell she was hungry. And that's okay. It's something new to her. She's never she's never eaten uh, from somebody's hand before. So we're gonna just um, make it a little easier. So instead, I took a handful of kibble. I scattered it out here on the floor, as you can see. And uh, she still obviously wasn't going for that. She sniffed it a little bit. Still didn't want to eat it off the floor. So I did go ahead and put some in a bowl. I let her eat a few bites from that bowl stuck my hand in that bowl fully prepared for her to gnaw off one of my fingers. She didn't. So I grabbed a little handful of kibble, grabbed the bowl, stuck it up again high, and showed her the food out of my hand again. And then she sniffed at it. And then she was a little more interested in it. And we did this back and forth a few times until eventually she did indeed eat from my hand. So um, I felt like she took probably four or five decent handfuls of food from me, which is probably enough for the for little eight-week-old tummy. And um, I was satisfied with that. So I put the bowl back down on the ground just to make sure she was satisfied and full and um, see if she was going to eat more out of the bowl, and she didn't. So I would say this morning we successfully um, did our first hand feeding. Good girl. Good girl. And uh, as for last night, it went it went pretty well, about as well as can be expected. She's whiny. She's away from her mommy for the first time. So putting her in her crate, she screamed her head off for probably 15 minutes. I mean, loud, like really loud. Um, I think I took her out four times in the middle of the night. And she actually did potty three of those four times. So that was good. 
I can just kind of tell the difference between her whining and her crying to potty. You can, there's just a little bit of a difference, and I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but you can just kind of tell. It, it'll go from like a, a whining to like a more intense, like, hey, 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 you know, I need to get out of here. Um, and so I picked up on those little subtle cues, which that just kind of comes with time and experience. Um, and we took her out. She went three out of those four times. So she did not mess in her crate last night, which is awesome. But that's not to say that that won't happen. I'm sure, I'm sure it will happen here over the next few weeks. But last night was a great success. Um, I did let her up on my bed to sleep for a little while. Um, she was feeling, I could tell she was feeling kind of insecure and a little lonely. Uh, and she wanted to just kind of cuddle. And so I took advantage of that. A lot of Malinois aren't like that. My Riot is not like that. He never was, not even as a puppy. He was very independent. So I went ahead and let her up on the bed and she fell asleep right on my chest, um, pretty much nose to nose with me. And so that was, that was a very sweet, sweet tender moment I had with her. And um, so that was nice. But then we put her in her crate. She cried and cried and cried and eventually fell back asleep. And it's just like having a newborn baby, you know? I might let her out and let her fall asleep on the bed with me just because I'm tired. <laughs> and then put her back in her crate after she falls asleep. Um, that kind of thing. And that's okay. She's very young. She's only eight weeks old. So we're going to work on crate training during the day today, which is going to be giving her reward and treats and toys inside of her crate, teaching her um, to enjoy her crate and to like her crate, to associate it with good things. So that's what we'll be uh, working on today off and on. And um, yeah, she's just a little terror. This right here, this is what she wants to do all day. You cannot walk across the house in socks and sweatpants or your feet and ankles are going to be chewed up. You're going to lose a toe. Um, so it's a good idea with a Malinois puppy to just make sure you have shoes on during the day. <laughs> Any time that the pup is going to be out because um, they're probably going to snag your feet and it hurts really bad because their little teeth are like needles and it only gets worse. So just make sure you have plenty of toys on hand to redirect. Um, I even keep kibble in my pockets <laughs> when I have puppies so I can just pull out some kibble and redirect the kibble. Um, just anything to, you know, make her not bite on my feet and ankles because we don't want them doing that. So don't let them do that. But we also don't want to kind of kill that drive. So just make sure that you um, just redirect that energy onto something else. All right, guys. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Ah, that's my finger.